This is Sam with SEL Services Los Angeles. This is our weekly video. Today we're going to look at in-page analytics in the Google Analytics program. And this is released in the new version and you can find it in the left sidebar underneath content and then in-page analytics. This feature used to be in the old version of Google Analytics a few years ago but it didn't work too well. It froze a lot and the information wasn't too accurate. If you heard that sound, that was my words with friends going off in my background. So anyway, what it does is it's basically a click map or a heat map and it shows you the number of clicks on a particular link and the percentage of clicks that this particular link gets relative to the rest of the clicks on the page. So supposedly Google is saying that this link gets 6% of your clicks on this link during this time period. Now, I'm not sure if these this number is accurate or, you know, oftentimes it's not with JavaScript tracking, but it is a good relative gauge and it'll tell you what's important on your page. And for all those usability geeks out there, this is really important. Because as you can see, I can, I can tell just from this that look, page search didn't get a lot of clicks. A lot of people, maybe they don't know what this means. Um, maybe I should rename this to PPC or AdWords or maybe people just aren't looking for that service. And yet, 12% are looking for my SEO services and only 4.7 are looking for information on SEO. So maybe I would move this SEO services link to the to the front or something like that. You can also test different callouts and test it over a period of time and determine whether one image gets more clicks than the other. Uh, some buttons up here. This shows your bubbles. This changes the bubbles to different colors so that you can easily see uh, different links and uh, this hides the bubbles and this expands so um, some good little tools here and one thing that I really like is this little notice that says less than 10% of clicks go below this so what that tells you is that the top of your page is really important and as you scroll down through your page this percentage will change if you come up on a on a different still 10% six percent so people are really you know maybe this why us if this is really important to me then I should move it up because not too many people are clicking below this now that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not seeing it but they're not clicking on these links as much and as you can see as you get higher down or, or lower down sorry the percentage goes down and virtually no clicks happen beneath my footer so it's an interesting tool check it out um, you can also change it if you have goal values. So if you establish goals based on different click paths or if you're an e-commerce store you can check out goals here which is cool. Um, you can adjust the percentages that you want to show. So it's a cool feature. Check it out and definitely use it.